She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Welcome back to Kristen's Corner. Thank you so much for clicking on another one of my videos. Today, as you can see by the title below, I am going to be baking blueberry muffins while chit-chatting to you guys about my weight loss, weight gain, just my journey with weight throughout my 25 years. Um, I don't want to talk too much now in this intro because we're going to be talking the whole video. So I'm just going to get straight into what I'm going to be making for you guys today. Okay guys, so the recipe that I've chosen to recreate today or to make today is a recipe for six blueberry muffins. It can be chocolate chip, you just switch out the chocolate chips for, I mean the blueberries for chocolate chips. The reason why I chose it is because each muffin is only 97 calories, which means that you can have a muffin with your tea in the evening and still be within your calorie budget for the day. Which is what we want guys, we want to be able to enjoy nice things but they're also healthy okay so I'm gonna get into it and hopefully this turns out great I do enjoy baking but I haven't done it in a long time so the possibility of this flopping is about 60% so cross fingers for me Okay guys, so I'm just going to share with you about my weight loss journey and how it's been um, throughout my life and I hope that you gain some inspiration from this or just realize that it's normal that our bodies are the way that they are and it's not supposed to be something that stays the same our whole lives. It does change and it does evolve just as we as people evolve and change. So at the beginning of my child of my life, I guess I was a chunky person. My memory, if my memory serves me correct, I'm eating the beers. Mm, they're so delicious. From pictures and that like stuff like that, I, I have seen that I was a bigger kind of child. Not really when I was like grade one-ish, but like later on, like grade four upwards. Gained a bit of weight. Was a thickums, you know? Up until grade 9 and I'll insert a picture of myself so you guys can see that I'm not lying then in grade 9 I decided to become vegetarian and this was the beginning of my journey with food I became vegetarian not for health reasons but rather because I heard a story about animals being treated badly and a touch on heart and I decided I ain't gonna eat them anymore so not I went from going to from being a girl who ate shutters and tripe and loved pork and bacon and all the juicy juicy meats that they are in this world cut it out completely and started eating mostly plant-based foods which was a shock to my entire family to this day to this day they still know <laughs> to this day i think they used to it now but it's, they're always encouraging me like just try some meat anyway let's not ramble on about that so Obviously, going from, from meat eating to plant-based changed a lot about my diet and I lost a lot of weight unintentionally. Bear in mind that at this time that I'm still not very a very active child. I was basically the I wasn't active. I didn't I used to do sports every now and then, but I wasn't like an exercise or extramural activity every single day type of person. Um, but I lost weight and I would say that my body kind of evened out. I wasn't skinny and I wasn't fat I was just Somewhere in the middle more towards like the thicker side. I've always just been thick. It's it is what it is so um, That was how I was in high school got to university and I think the change from being at home with home cooked feel, meals, mom packing lunch, tuck shop every day, not being very active, to going to varsity and walking to every single class that's like 500 milli, milli kilometers apart, whatever, 
to not having proper meals every day like eating breakfast and then maybe dinner or lunch and then no dinner and then also eating lots of junk food made me lose a lot of weight and I was the skinniest that I ever was which was 58 kgs and I will insert a picture of myself at 58 kgs see we don't stay the same we change we change our bodies change then I um, obviously developed really bad eating habits um, I, I think I used to eat like a chocolate every single day sometimes more than one chocolate every single day and coke I used to drink a lot of coke still mostly vegetarian yeah I was vegetarian but eating being an unhealthy vegetarian like I could just eat fries every single day and I would be fine but I wasn't getting fat then um, towards the end of my fourth year of varsity I started gaining weight because obviously now um, after you turn 21 you guys know your body changes you gain weight I gained lots of weight and then also I stopped moving around as much I had less classes and I was also doing teaching track so I was relatively less busy like physically busy and like walking around campuses than I was at, at school at work but still had very bad eating habits so that spiraled over into my first year of teaching where um, those same I carry those same eating habits with me but now guys I was earning money so if I was wishing for KFC on this day I could buy KFC and eat it if I was wishing to have a lint chocolate I could go and buy it and eat it because now I had money and then also another thing I wasn't as active because I was so drained from the workday that I would just come home and sleep mostly this is almost obviously I did have days when I ate healthy then gained a lot of weight during lots and I did have like crash diets here and there tried to exercise here and there but nothing was really sustainable then um, 2020 lockdown the middle of lockdown Denzel bought a scale and everybody in my household jumped on the scale and so to my shock I was I'm gonna tell you my weight even though it's so embarrassing I was 83 kgs the heaviest I have been I don't know what the math is but it's like 30 kgs that I gained I was, I was like 81 or 82 somewhere there heavy just heavy heavy for myself if you're 83 and you are fit as a fiddle and you're skinny great stuff but for me I was not happy with that weight so I began to make a change and that change was to start intermittent which if you don't know what intermittent is I would suggest that you would do research on it before even attempting to do it because it's a whole nother ball game um, which is where you don't eat for 18 hours or 16 hours or 20 whatever you're gonna make your window and then you eat for the other hours so I don't eat for 18 hours so from 8 p.m. to um, 2 p.m. I don't eat and then from 2 p.m. to 8 I eat so that's my window and then I started a um, workout program with Heather Robertson I will leave a link to her like 12 week thing in the description it was really good um, I really it really helped me to build my fitness again and then I just started eating a more wholesome diet which um, I always have been the type of person that likes vegetables and whole grains and types that type of stuff but I was being more intentional about it where I would have had um, baked beans and mash and something now I instead will have a salad and broccoli all of those healthy types of stuff which I really really actually love I just wasn't being intentional about eating them and so since then um, I have lost a few kgs I do have a goal weight which I want to re reach which is 9.5 kgs away from where I am at the moment um, and my goal is to reach it by my wedding which is in four months time however I'm not diet based at this point whether I reach that 9.5 kgs before my wedding on my wedding after my wedding never it doesn't matter to me at this point because what I'm trying to build for myself 
is a healthy lifestyle so i'm trying to create healthy um habits like eating very very well and healthy and no bad stuff in the week and trying to do so on the weekend finding alternatives like this muffin like this muffin um being more active which is a big thing for me because i wasn't really active i would just come home at nap but now i try to work out at least three to four times a week and i do have weeks where i don't but i always try to get back on it and i think that has been the game changer for me is to not make it a diet but to make it a lifestyle type of thing and maybe in a few years from now i'll feel differently about what i feel what i am right now how I feel right now about food and dieting and all of that. Hopefully I'll be at a space where I love exercise and I love eating healthy because it's at a, a part of my life and I see the benefits of it, which I really do. I'm trying to realize that exercise is not just about trying to be skinny, but moving your body because it's healthy to move your body. Your body needs to be moved. Your body needs those endorphins. The one thing that has really helped me is that wanting that kick after you work out that those endorphins that give you so much energy i used to rely on coffee to do that for me after work which it would last for one hour and then die but now doing it now with exercise it lasts so long that only by the time it's time for me to sleep i feel hella gas and then i'm like okay it's time to but anyway it's time to sleep anyways i'm rambling on what i'm trying to say is that and what I'm trying to show you by sharing my journey is that we are not um, we are not going to be 58 kgs from now until I'm 90 years old. No, I'm going to change. The most important thing, though, is being healthy. Whether I am 60 kgs, um, 75 kgs, or whether I am 58 kgs, I can be 58 kgs, which I was, and unhealthy or 75 kgs and healthy i would rather choose 75 kgs and healthy knowing that i have a good relationship with food knowing that i enjoy physical exercise and what it does to my body knowing that um yeah i'm just in a healthy relationship with my body and food and that so that is what i'm trying to share with you guys today um i hope that somebody out there hears what i'm trying to say and that wherever you are in your journey, you realize that you are fearfully and wonderfully made by the Creator. And God doesn't make mistakes. He designed you perfectly for the... He designed you perfectly with all your kinks and all your things that you... Imperfections that you might think that are actually not perfections. They're actually super, super perfect for you. He created the, that you... He created you that way and I think that it's important that we learn to love ourselves for the way that God created us to be. Okay, let's check on those muffins now. guys thank you so much for making if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button and join the Kristen corner family seems like we're a family and um comment down below your weight loss journey or something that you have maybe learnt during your weight loss journey it would be interesting to read the comments and maybe other people will see your little comments and be inspired by it i hope that you guys enjoyed see you guys next time bye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her